Hi, when I installed Photoshop, I chose to install it in Swedish, which is great since I speak that language. However, for recording international videos, it is terrible. To follow Adobe's instructions when changing the language in a Creative Cloud connected version of Photoshop, you'll actually need to first change the preferred installation language in the Creative Cloud control panel and then reinstall the whole program, something that is actually rubbish and just not true. Instead, all we need to do is to make it really hard for Photoshop to load the language file of whatever language you are currently using, something that then makes the program resort to its backup language, which is, you guessed it, English. To do this, we need to first navigate to this folder. I'm using macOS here, but the procedure is basically the same in Windows. Just navigate to the path shown on the video screen for your specific operating system. Here in the support files folder, we then need to find a file ending with your installed language shortening, followed by .dat. In my case, it says se.dat. All we have to do here is then to change the name of this file into something completely different. Here I'm doing this by just simply adding an exclamation mark to the end of the file name. To then confirm and actually save the changed file name, you most likely need to provide administrative rights. After that, the only thing left to do is to fire up Photoshop that should now, because it can't find the language file that it is looking for, instead be displayed in glorious English. If you later on want to revert the language back to your original one, just quit Photoshop and restore the name of the file we just changed to its original self. And that's that. Please share any thoughts or questions down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.